Hi, I'm Jun Hyub Lee, a PhD student from KAIST, Korea. We are a group of designers and engineers whose focus is designing and developing interactive systems that enable professional artists and designers to become much more creative and productive by helping them express what they want, when they want to, and in a way that is most natural to them. Our latest is a novel 3D sketching system for rapidly designing articulated objects. The designer can quickly and iteratively produce compelling concepts of articulated objects suitable for early stages of film, animation, game, and product design. At our group, we've been focusing on professional designers' 2D perspective sketches, tapping into the wealth of 3D information not only present in the final sketches, but also in the actions that designers typically perform when they sketch. For instance, drawing a symmetric curve on the other side, or setting up a 3D plane onto which to situate the curve. The key is coming up with a minimal yet comprehensive system of interactions that make sense, get the job done, and work together well, deriving from a few core principles firmly grounded in the way designers think and work. The user interface gets out of the way, and designers can pick up the system very quickly and focus only on doing what they do well. We've been eating our own dog food by designing real products with 3D sketching and developing new features that improve the workflow when traditional design practices fell short. For instance, while working on the body shape of an acoustic instrument that can be handled in various ways, for detecting and visualizing sources of noise with a microphone array, we found out what a pain it is to create a form that fits comfortably in hand. So, we designed and implemented a 3D sketching system that incorporates hand poses. Also, we collaborated with a car design studio working on an autonomous electric vehicle to be debuted at a motor show. The designers were impressed that they could translate a 2D idea on paper into 3D very quickly, but they also wanted to see it on a one-to-one -one scale. So, we quickly put together a system that let them review their 3D sketches in VR. This let them skip the physical clay modeling and save lots of time and money. Note that this was a few years ago, when VR was not yet commonplace at car design studios. We faced our greatest challenge when a robotics company asked us to design the exterior of a robot arm. Due to the seven joints that could rotate, designing the exterior was very difficult, as an exterior that may appear nice in one pose may be awkward in another pose. With static 3D sketching, we had no easy way of testing the form in multiple poses, let alone seeing what it would be like when it moves. In addition to robots, a lot of articulated objects would benefit from a better design workflow. So we built the first working prototype of a 3D sketch that moves. It was very rough, but it could be used to segment and pose a 3D sketch. Moreover, it demonstrated that it would be great to have a 3D sketch that moves. The difficult part was figuring out the best way to fit all the functionalities into an intuitive set of pen and multi-touch gestures that anyone could quickly learn and easily use. Our first shot was a system where the designer would set up a sphere, sketch a trajectory directly on the sphere surface, and drag the part along the trajectory in order to create a rotational joint. However, this approach was not compatible with other types of joints we wanted to support, and we still had not figured out how to do animation. One thing that worked well and we wanted to expand on further was the bimanual interaction, holding something still with one hand, while moving something else with regard to it with the other hand. In other words, one hand first defined the geometric constraint under which the other hand would then operate, and this was a natural way to express exact 3D intents through 2D touches. We found the final missing piece for our current system from an unlikely source. While also working on a way to map hand movements to robot movements, we found that holding and moving a robot by a handle in the form of a virtual plane is a very intuitive way to do so. We decided to utilize the 3D plane for projecting 3D curves onto, also as a handle for moving things around. So, in our system, by marking 1, 2, or 3 position anchors in space, the designer can create a sketch plane widget. While holding down a sketch plane axis with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can rotate the widget about the axis with one finger, or translate the widget along the axis with two fingers. Also, while holding down the sketch plane bezel with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can translate the widget on the plane with one finger, or translate and rotate the widget on the plane with two fingers. Finally, while holding down the sketch plane center with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can orbit the widget about the center with one finger, or orbit and spin the widget about the center with two fingers. 
after creating a sketch plane widget and moving it to a desired position and orientation. The designer can sketch 2D curves that are projected onto the 3D sketch plane widget. While holding down the erase button with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can erase a sketch curve or erase the sketch plane widget. While holding down the add to part button with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can segment sketch curves into a separate part. And, while holding down the remove from part button, the designer can remove unnecessary curves from a part. While holding down a part to keep still with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can pull other parts apart with three fingers to enter the exploded view, where the designer can select a part to work on independently from other parts. While holding down a sketch plane axis, the designer can rotate a part about the axis together with the widget. When the designer repeatedly demonstrates a desired motion of a part, a trail is left behind, from which the system infers a joint to be created. In this case, a hinge joint. While holding down the parent part with the left hand, with the right hand, the designer can drag the child part to connect a kinematic pair. In the previously mentioned exploded view, while holding down the erase button, the designer can disconnect the kinematic pair or erase the joint itself. Similarly, the designer can create a linear slider joint by repeatedly translating a part along a sketch plane axis, or, alternatively, by repeatedly translating a part on the plane. Also, the designer can create a curved slider joint by repeatedly translating and rotating a part on the plane. Finally, the designer can create a ball joint by repeatedly orbiting a part about the sketch plane center. While holding down a part to keep still, the designer can move one part with forward kinematics with one finger move multiple parts with forward kinematics with one finger on each part, or move multiple parts with inverse kinematics with two fingers on the same part. Inverse kinematics with constraints, such as a planar constraint, can be performed with the sketch plane widget. By pressing the capture keyframe button, the designer can save desired poses seen from desired viewpoints, and create a sequence of keyframes, each of which can be recalled at any time. While holding down the follow trajectory button, Selecting a point reveals the screen space trajectory of the point. The designer can drag along the trajectory at the desired speed to create a smooth animation connecting the keyframes. The animation is automatically saved and can be exported in a video or a CAD file format. For proof of concept, we recruited five professional designers and asked them to create articulated objects through our system. After only one hour of tutorial, the designers produced compelling concepts such as assembly robots equipped with a gripper, drill, and height-adjustable workbench, a self-driving shuttle with an expanding roof, and rotating wheels and seats, a lunar rover with omni-wheels that swivel, and a spherical cockpit that spins in all directions, a cannon shooting a cannonball, and a cloud of dust rising on impact, a designer workspace with a Wacom tablet mounted on a mechanical arm, an autonomous excavator with caterpillars that raises the platform, and a dexterous boom, a puma jumping into the air to catch its prey, a samurai slashing an approaching target into half, a spacecraft deploying its landing gear and opening its cockpit, a bipedal turret with a ball joint at the neck, walking and searching for a target, a skeleton dragon menacingly landing from above, a cyborg assassin with an interesting camera work and particle effects, a blossoming flower and dancing butterflies, a siege tank with external handles for control, a sword drone transforming from a sword to a drone upon unsheathing. An exoskeleton with a flexible spine protection being assembled, seen from all directions. A foldable electric tricycle with an automatic charging station and cable. A holographic smartwatch with swappable watch faces. A mecha T-Rex with fearsome claws and teeth, roaring at the sky. And finally, a bust of a transformer robot folding onto itself many times to turn into a truck. When we asked the designers about their past experiences working on articulated objects, including what values our new tool could bring to their work, the designers said they appreciated that they could take full advantage of their drawing skills to create 3D forms and make them come to life with just a few touches. They noted that more ideas could be tried in the same amount of time with the faster speed and believed that the ability to visualize 3D forms and 3D motions so early in the process is a game changer that would help them prevent unexpected problems farther down the road especially in large-scale projects. The other important lesson we learned while observing the designers working on these 3D sketches and analyzing the command execution log is that designers revise their concepts a lot. Designers would often try various poses, find something that doesn't work, and go back to change things around until they were happy. In fact, while producing one concept, which took about one hour, each designer switched over 100 times between sketching, segmenting, rigging, 
posing and filming, and they spent less than one minute in each on average. This is why we need an integrated 3D sketching system that spans the entire process, as opposed to 3D sketching in one system, and then moving the data to another system specializing in animation, and so on. We are very happy to present our work at SIGGRAPH, especially because we get to show that even if not every piece is individually novel, they can be put together to compose a system that, as a whole, is itself novel and enables professional artists and designers to think and work in new ways, as well as become more creative and productive than before. Finally, we can't wait to meet the artists and designers working on films, animations, games, and even robots, who would love to get their hands on our 3D sketching system for articulated objects. Come to our live demo at Emerging Technologies, SIGGRAPH 2022 Vancouver.